video of lab view and in this video we will see the main parts of vi means how vi is created and what are the parameters it needs so the vi has three main parts front panel block diagram and control pane the front panel will interact with the user the front panel is built using controls and indicators controls are inputs means they allow a user to supply information to any vi and indicators are the outputs means they indicate or display the results based on the inputs given to the vi now the block diagram the block diagram or we can also say the back panel contains the graphical source code means all of the objects placed on the front panel will appear on the back panel as terminal means whatever operations we are doing in our vi those operations we will do in block diagrams we can't see that operations on front panel so user can't see the operations which are happening in that vi so the back panel also contains structures and functions which perform operations on control and supply data to indicators so that we can see the output the structures and functions are found on the function palette and uh, can be placed on the back panel so suppose uh, i am taking any number or uh, array so it will display that array on front panel and block diagram both side and suppose i am adding two numbers and the output will be display as a number okay so that uh, in front panel it will just show two inputs and one output but in the block diagram we can see that uh, we have uh, the vi is performing addition operation to that inputs and uh, it will generate the output so now we will see the front panel in detail so in front panel when we do right click it will pop up that controls palette in that various palettes are there means uh, numeric palette string palette structures everything is there and connector pane is the main part of front panel if you want to give any caption and label we can give it on front panel and uh, traditional debugging features are not available for front panel so means we can't debug a vi using front panel for that we have to go to block diagram so this is the front panel whenever uh, we create any vi this front panel will be there so we can right click here so that uh, connector pane or a control palettes we can see now the block diagram label is block diagrams property means uh, suppose here if we are uh, doing some operation we can label it so this is addition or subtraction we can label it so if uh, any non programmer see that vi it can easily understand when you do right click on block diagram it will pop up that functions palette which contains structures loops and everything and uh, we also have some shortcuts and i will show you those shortcuts later so this is the block diagram whenever we create new vi new vi two things will be there front panel and block diagram both will open at same time and uh, connector pane means passing data to other vi the connector pane terminals displays the color of data means the wire to connect the different uh, palettes or uh, elements is different based on that uh, our uh, elements 
and uh, what are our inputs and outputs we can see through that connector pen so this is the connector pen so suppose i am giving two inputs so here it will show two inputs and for output here we can see that one output is there or two outputs are there we can see so this is a very basic thing front panel block diagram and a connector pen so these three things are the basic or main part of any VI.